Hey piggy people, so I just got back from the vet with Reese, so we went to see my main vet to have her assess Reese as well for kind of like our second opinion, uh, because the last video I'd said what the emergency vet had said, so unfortunately my vet feels exactly the same that Reese has dental disease and that it could not only be in her bottom incisor but could be in her jaw. So they did lance out her abscess at my vet today to clear that out, take some pressure off, get rid of as much infection as possible. So we do have some supplies. Uh, she's still on antibiotics and she'll be on pain meds. And then we have some saline and little tips to flush out her abscess two to three times a day to try to keep it clean. And then we're just going to see what happens from there. So presumably her abscess eventually will just fill back up again as if she has dental disease. You can't get rid of that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how long before it fills up. I'm going to do what I can to try to keep it clean and flushed out. My vet said we could always hope for it clearing itself out and healing. But she said she doesn't want me to get my hopes up because realistically... Poor Reese has dental disease that we can't do anything for. So she's very sleepy. She got sedated for her lancing. And then she's on some pain meds that were by injection. So she's going to be a little bit dopey for a while. So she's in her own section because she's not up and moving about. So she's in her little fleece bed there. And then underneath the fleece pad is the electric heat pad. So a huge heat pad that takes up most of that section to keep her nice and warm. And the other piggies are blocked off from her because obviously she's not up and moving. I set a little cilantro down there in front of her, but she's not interested in it yet. So I'm going to give her a little bit to wake up. So I'm very disappointed that we have a diagnosis that isn't really treatable. And there's lots of things you can do pretty drastic things to try to prolong, but it all sounded really yucky. So what I'm going to do is obviously we had it lanced out to clean out as much infection as possible, and I'm going to try to keep it cleaned out as I said. She's on pain meds, she'll be on antibiotics still, and as long as she's eating and sleeping comfortable and enjoying herself, we'll keep on going. And I'm sure she'll tell me if she's had enough. Reese is going to be four in March. So it just feels like another one of those rip-offs. Because I would love if she could be around for way longer. Because she's the sweetest little thing. So it's been pretty rough here for the last year, I'd say. Because last year we lost um, Apple to... First it was bladder stones, then the stone in her kidney, and then lost pecan from that huge bladder stone, lost Angus from what I think was kidney failure, and now more than likely we're losing Reese to dental disease. It really sucks. It sucks big time. So I'll look forward to later today when she's kind of moving around a bit more and wants to start eating again. Thanks everybody for all your lovely comments of support. Everybody is so lovely. And thank you to the people who gave us gifts of money to put towards the vet fund. That is so generous and so helpful. Vet bills have been very expensive within the last six weeks. And we still have yet to go back again for Velvet's recheck on her teeth. What are you talking about, Hucky? So when Velvet goes back, we'll see if she needs her incisors trimmed a little bit. Yes, we're talking about you. I kind of feel like maybe the one that was cracked might need a little more shaved off of it because the top part still looks a little straggly, which was probably the part that was right at the gum line that they couldn't entirely shave off. So I'm half curious if they want to do a little touch up to that. And then the incisor on top of where the cracked one is, is a little bit longer. So I'm not sure if they'll take that back a bit. We'll see. 
who knows? Or maybe her teeth are fine and we just have to let them go a little bit longer to see if they even themselves out as it keeps growing. Everybody else in the herd is doing well. There's little baby Veda, who's getting so big, isn't she? And it's really nice that now all the time Veda's coming up to be hand-fed stuff. So during veggies, I still hand-feed velvet things if she wants. And Reese lately, I've been cutting stuff up smaller for her as well. And Veda will come over and let me hand her a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of junk on the end of the cage there just because I took it out of the section where Reese is hanging out. In case you guys are wondering, it's super snowy outside. Let's see the other guys. So we have Autumn here. Autumn waiting to get put in with her buddies. So I still think um, even if unfortunately Reese has to be let go that I'm still going to try her with the trio first. So there's little Annie Banani. Hey sweetie. I'm assuming Annabelle's somewhere over in the beds and Buzz just ran back there like a wild man that he is. So I'll give you guys some more updates. I'll see if I can film trying to flush out her abscess. Not sure if I will. So it'll be hard to set up and I don't know how it'll go. Could be rather messy or embarrassing me trying to attempt it. I don't know. But anyway, I will talk to you guys all later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!